Applications of Gauss's Law Field due to an infinitely long, straight, uniformly charged wire. Consider a long, thin, uniformly charged wire and we have to find the electric field intensity due to the wire at any point at perpendicular distance from the wire. If the wire is very long and we are at point far away from both its ends, then field lines outside the wire are radial and would lie on a plane perpendicular to the wire. Electric field intensity has same magnitude at all points which are at same distance from the line charge. Charge enclosed in cylinder is Q is equal to linear charge density into length L of cylinder or Q is equal to lambda L. From Gauss's law, closed contour E dA is equal to Q by epsilon naught or E 2 pi R L is equal to lambda L by epsilon naught. E is equal to lambda by 2 pi R epsilon naught. E proportional to lambda by R. Thus, electric field intensity of a long positively charged wire does not depend on length of the wire but on the radial distance R of points from the wire. Field due to a uniformly charged infinite plane sheet. Consider a thin infinite plane sheet of charge having surface charge density sigma. We have to find the electric field intensity due to this sheet at any point which is distance r away from the sheet. We can draw a rectangular Gaussian pillbox extending equal distance above and below the plane. By symmetry, we find that E on either side of the sheet must be perpendicular to the plane of the sheet, having same magnitude at all points equidistant from the sheet. No field lines cross the side walls of the Gaussian pillbox, that is, component of E normal to walls of pillbox is zero. We now apply Gauss's law to this surface. Closed contour E D A is equal to Q by epsilon naught. In this case, charge enclosed is Q is equal to sigma A, where A is the area of end face of Gaussian pillbox. E points in the direction away from the plane, that is, E points upwards for points above the plane and downwards for points below the plane. Thus, for top and bottom surfaces, closed contour E D A is equal to 2 A E. Thus, 2 A is equal to sigma A by epsilon naught or E is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon naught. Here, one important thing to note is that magnitude of electric field at any point is independent of the sheet and does not decrease inversely with the square of the distance. Field due to a uniformly charged thin spherical shell. We'll now apply Gauss's law to find the field 
outside uniformly charged solid sphere of radius r and total charge q. In this case, Gaussian surface would be a sphere of radius r is greater than r concentric with the charged solid sphere from Gauss's law closed contour E D A is equal to Q by epsilon naught where Q is the charge enclosed. Since electric field points radially outwards, we have closed contour E D A is equal to E closed contour D A. Also, as discussed, magnitude of E is constant over Gaussian surface. So, closed contour E D A is equal to E 4 pi r square, where 4 pi r square is the surface area of the sphere. Again, from Gauss's law, we have E 4 pi r square is equal to Q by epsilon naught. E is equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon naught r square. Thus, we see that magnitude of field outside the sphere is exactly as it would have been as if all the charges were concentrated at its center.